I found 17 real work from home jobs that you can do at night. And these are going to be 17 that I haven't talked about before. And I'm going to be giving you examples of companies where you can actually apply to these jobs. So these are live job listings. And most of them don't require very much previous experience or education. So if you appreciate me doing this, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be control center operator. Have you ever wanted to be the unsung hero of the digital world, ensuring that everything runs smoothly while your city sleeps? Well, meet the control center operator, the night shift sentinel of the digital world, tirelessly monitoring networks from the shadow of their remote fortress. Now, all joking aside, basically control center operators support an organization's network and they support their organization's computer systems. And they typically do this during the night to ensure seamless operations. And this role is absolutely crucial in industries such as telecommunications, IT services, and financial trading. Unique to this role is the combination of technical expertise, vigilance, and quick decision making, all performed in the solitude of night. Now, in this role, you'd expect to make about forty-nine dollars to $75,000 a year, and it is relatively easy to get into. There are many people that have landed jobs similar to this, getting certifications on places like Coursera, which is something I talk about quite a bit on this channel. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So yeah, really good one. I like this one a lot. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a free training on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And it's going to be on Tuesday at 9pm Eastern time, it'll be a live interactive zoom call with me where I can answer questions that you have about YouTube. And I'll also be revealing the three biggest secrets on how to grow and make money from YouTube. And this is what you can do to either add a couple thousand dollars a month to your income or even grow a full time income purely from making content on YouTube. And when I started out on YouTube, I was working as a pharmacist full time but within a few months of starting, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars on top of my full time job. Now, if you want to do the same, make sure to join the live training because I'll also be giving away a free mini course only to the people who show up to it. This is not going to happen anywhere else. There will be no replays and there's limited seating. So make sure you sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below and I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be answering service operator. So it sounds kind of similar, but in this one, you'd basically be taking calls after hours and there's many different industries that you could be working in. So not only would you be taking calls, but you'd also be taking messages, verifying information and handling dispatch messages all from a remote setup. And much of the time, there are lots of opportunities for roles out there where you can do it at night. Now, in this particular type of role, you'd very likely be taking calls for many different companies at once. So this is what companies do when they don't want to hire their own in-house people. They basically outsource it to these types of companies. And in answering services, you typically make about thirty-three dollars to $47,000 a year. Now, suffice it to say, you definitely don't need a college degree or previous experience to start with this one. I've known people who have even gotten jobs doing this as teenagers, depending on the state you live in. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a data visualization coordinator. Now I really like this quote. It goes due to the increasingly enormous amount of data available, analytics must be represented visually and be immediately comprehensible. AI algorithms need to extract pertinent facts and the platform should enable the user to go from a macro picture to a granular analysis in one click. And if you've ever worked with any type of data, you know that what this guy is saying is absolutely true. So in this position, you'd basically be crafting compelling dashboards for companies that quickly and efficiently gathers, organizes their data and then visually represents it for them so that it's very easy for them to understand exactly what they need to do based off of the data. And in data visualization, you make about 71 to $115,000 a year. So yeah, this one is amazing. Unfortunately, you do have to have some skills with programming languages such as Python or data tools such as Tableau, R. And of course, you want to have a lot of experience with Excel. So this one isn't exactly entry level. But with that being said, a lot of the jobs in the tech industry don't have a lot of gatekeepers. There are many cases where you can actually get a job without having to get a college degree. And you don't have to have a ton of previous experience either. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. So yeah, this one's really good. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an inbound sales representative. Now, interestingly enough, I think everybody knows what this one is. You're literally just taking inbound sales calls. I have a few friends who are salespeople who are traveling abroad and they actually work the night shift, but where they're traveling, it's 
daytime. So they get paid extra for working the night shift, but they're actually just working during the day like a normal person. So that's something you could look into, kind of a pro tip there. And inbound sales representatives make really good money, about 54 to $85,000 a year. So yeah, I always say on this channel, I think getting a sales job at least one time in your lifetime is going to be incredibly valuable for you. It helps you articulate your thoughts. It helps you understand what other people want and how you can help them. It's an incredibly valuable skill to have. That's why just about every billionaire and millionaire out there had a sales job at one point in their life. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Go ahead and check them out. So yeah, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a patient account representative. Now, as the world sleeps, the patient account representative becomes the Sherlock Holmes of healthcare finance, unraveling the mysteries of payer regulations and invoices. Now, a patient account representative, of course, manages accounts, but specifically accounts receivable. And they focus on healthcare payer regulations and customer service. And this role is absolutely crucial in healthcare facilities and medical billing companies because it ensures financial accuracy and compliance with insurance guidelines. And patient account representatives make about thirty-nine dollars to $55,000 a year. And this is another one of those roles that does not require previous experience or a college degree typically. Here's some opportunities for you. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, this one's pretty good. Really easy to get into. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a communications specialist. And this is somebody who basically handles confidential information and workplace concerns and the ability to impact organizational change from behind the scenes and communication specialists make 58 to $92,000 a year. So yeah, this is another one relatively easy to get into. You can get into it with a limited educational background. There's also a lot of courses online that you can take on platforms such as Coursera. Another key would be building a strong portfolio. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. But yeah, this one's really good. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, speaking of communication, if you're somebody who would like to communicate your opinions to the world like I do, you can become a YouTuber. And this is what I did a few years ago. And I managed to grow my channel into a full-time income within a few months. And if you want to do that yourself, I actually do coach a few people a month on how to do this. And you can click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to check out some free training and apply. Next is going to be a payroll administrator. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You are basically responsible for making sure that everybody gets paid properly and on time. And payroll administrators make about $51 to $73,000 a year. Here. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So yeah, another really good one, relatively easy to get into. I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is an account resolution specialist. And they're basically like the peacekeeper of the financial world at night, restoring balance to the universe one account at a time. And typically this basically involves some sort of financial transaction and making sure it's correct. And they often work in areas like collections or healthcare. And account resolution specialists make 39 to $56,000 a year. So yeah, another good one, really easy to get into. Maybe not something you want to do for the rest of your life, but it's definitely a great way to get your foot in the door. Here's some opportunities for you. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is an admissions coordinator. And this is basically somebody who coordinates admissions, usually in healthcare related facilities at night. And this involves anything from verifying insurance to coordinating with the healthcare staff themselves and all kinds of different healthcare facilities hire for this type of role. And admissions coordinators make about 45 to $65,000 a year. So I've said it many times, there are so many random little healthcare related careers out there that are pretty good. Honestly, they're really easy to get into. They pay relatively well. Maybe you don't want to do them for the rest of your life, but they can be a really good stepping stone. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below if any of the jobs that I've mentioned resonate with you. If you like them, maybe you don't like them and maybe some other jobs that I should have mentioned in this video. Next is going to be a patient care coordinator. And this is somebody who manages and coordinates patient care activity. And this ensures that patients receive appropriate care and support throughout their healthcare journey. And again, they're hired by a bunch of different types of medical facilities, hospitals, clinics, etc. And patient care coordinators make about 39 to $56,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, pretty good one. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a computer operator. And this is somebody who monitors and controls computer systems typically at night. And computer operators make about 60 to $101,000 a year. Now, a lot a lot of these tech jobs that I mentioned, you know, 
you can't just go immediately into them all the time, but it's very easy to kind of get some experience either by freelancing, you know, making a portfolio, doing some projects, that kind of thing. And then you can land these jobs relatively easily. So you can't get into these jobs with absolutely zero experience, but if you have a little bit of experience and you know how to make a portfolio and just teach yourself, it's really easy to get into these jobs. There's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So yeah, this one is phenomenal. Obviously you can even make it to the six figure level. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a client care specialist. This is somebody who is responsible for, of course, providing care and support to clients and patients. And it would be clients if you're hired by like a financial institution. It would be patients if you're hired by a healthcare institution. And client care specialists make about forty-seven dollars to $71,000 a year. So this is another really good one. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this video with a friend who needs to see it. We don't have some kind of crazy marketing budget or marketing team. We don't spend a bunch of money on ads or shout outs or anything like that. We rely on word of mouth in order for the good word, our good work to spread to others. So go ahead and share this with a friend, family member, or somebody who just needs to get a job. Next is going to be a remote scheduling assistant. And this is somebody who manages and coordinates appointments, meetings, and schedules, sometimes for individuals and sometimes for entire teams. And a lot of the time, this role is available at night. And scheduling assistants make thirty-eight to $53,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So yeah, this one's really good. Very easy to get into. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you are interested in getting into a sales role, but you're not confident about it yet. You want to learn the basics. You want to learn how to do it. Get a little bit of training. I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gone from zero knowledge to having jobs in a very short period of time where they make up to a hundred thousand dollars a year. And they all went through the company course careers. Now course careers does have some free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And you should definitely check it out. Absolutely love course careers. They are the best on the market for helping people get jobs in tech sales. Next is going to be a business development sales representative. And this is actually the exact job that I mentioned before when I was talking about tech sales. That's a job that course careers helps people get into. Definitely check that out. I'll put the link in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But yeah, this one specifically, you focus on appointment setting, right? So you focus on setting appointments for the experienced salespeople. So you'd be doing a lot of outreach and you'd be getting people to get on calls with other people in the company. And sometimes you'd even be doing the selling yourself. It really depends on the company you work for. But in this position, you can make 73 to $125,000 a year. Absolutely ridiculous. And there are countless examples of people that have gotten into this without a college degree or previous experience. I've even interviewed a bunch of them on this channel. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Go ahead and check them out. So yeah, this one's really amazing. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Come on. I think like 80% of the people that watch the channel are just lurking and they don't subscribe. Come on, log into your account and subscribe to the channel. We put so much effort into these videos. Show some appreciation by subscribing. Next is going to be a compliance analyst. This is somebody who makes sure that companies adhere to regulations. I know, super boring. And internal policies, also super boring. And often they do this by analyzing legal documents, conducting audits, and advising on compliance matters. So if you're the type of person who always likes to follow the rules, this could be an amazing career for you. And compliance analysts make 61 to $96,000 a year. Now, typically this one does require some previous experience, but they usually don't really care what your experience is. They just want you to have some work experience. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Go ahead and check them out. So yeah, this one's really good. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is an acquisitions specialist. And this professional typically works in the real estate industry and they identify, evaluate, evaluate and negotiate the purchase of property. So if you've ever been interested in the real estate industry, you can actually make a ton of money doing this. In fact, real estate acquisition specialists make 105 to $187,000 a year. Now this is one where some real estate experience would really help. So if you've ever tried to be a real estate agent or something like that, you probably have experience to do this. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Go ahead and check them out. So yeah, this one is phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a tour marketing coordinator. And this is the digital ringmaster of concert tours. That's right. You could coordinate tours for your favorite DJ, rock star, or rapper. And tour marketing coordinators make about forty-five dollars to $65,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, a little bit of a niche one there, but you know, it is an opportunity that's available. It's a lot more common than you might think. I'll go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did have a video that got a million views and that was the 21 work from home jobs that pay really good money. And you can check that out by clicking right here.